Hello, it's Thursday the 14th of January. Um, we're just about to start the preparation work to make some space for Project 2. Um, so Project 2 is actually going to be um, putting down a wooden floor at the Hive. Um, as you can see, Project 1 behind is completed. We've got the cards um, back up on the stands. The till is in the area um, that it's going to be in and the door um, is well concealed. Uh, we've still got things to do around this area so the um, Opinel knives they're going to be moved so the blue lock displays are going to be behind the till so they're still visible um, and then we're going to work on building um, some um, some wall units um, on this section of the hive. So we're going for a bit of a 1930s uh, general store um, look so we can get a lot more products um, on the walls and just introduce more ranges to the hive. Um, so we've got some stock already ordered that will be with us in the next couple of days. But flooring, let's have a look at the floor. So I'll spin you around. Okay, so when we first took over the hive um, the floor was just pure concrete like this. Um, it's really really cold though the floor and for the past two and a half years it's worked with what we've wanted. Um, so we've gone for the really uh, rustic concrete flooring um, and then paired that with vintage style rugs. Excuse the mistake of this one. And I've just took a rug up from this area here. Um, so yeah, we had rugs down, some bare concrete flooring exposed, and that worked well with the um, the bricks and the exposed rafters and the roofing. Um, however, having watched quite a few YouTube videos recently of these beautiful um, American shops with gorgeous wooden floors, um, I've decided that I want to do the floor here. So project two is going to be a case of, uh, just to give you an idea, the width from one side to the other side is 12 feet and from the cards all the way back down to the mirrored wall down that end is approximately 56 feet. No, it's not, it's approximately 46 feet. Um, so the idea is going to be to put um, 10 foot scaffolding planks down um, and they will will have a base layer that go across every five feet so the main floorboards can be attached into that so we're going to have five foot uh, planks going across at five foot intervals and we'll then start with our scaffolding floor which will then go 10 foot five foot plank 10 foot plank five foot plank and so on and we need 16 planks down and then it's going to then carry on five foot at uh, 10 foot and um, so that will create that nice staggered effect um, never realized there were certain screws for floorboards um, but there are so today I went and bought these cut clasp nails um, and I've just tested them because I thought I'd have to drill pilot holes I've just done a test um, hammer on a couple of pieces of um, scaffold board that I've got and they're going to work really really well they'll just hammer straight in so hopefully there's enough there I've got 1.5 kilograms of nails for the time being got the hammer not got the wood <laughs> um, but we've got some temporary shelter that we've put up outside um, and we're just waiting for the first of the um, 10 foot planks to be delivered so I think we've got 60 coming today um, and we can make a start on doing the floor tomorrow so today we're just going to start taking up the rugs packaging up some of the small pieces um, and then moving some of the bigger pieces of furniture to the other side of the fireplace um, and we'll start on this side of the shop first. So tomorrow, or I might even do a um, bit of a video of the temporary clear up and pack up. Um, and then we'll, uh, we'll do a bit of a video of the transformation tomorrow. 